Hello my strong strong friends. Today is the day I explain to you that I won the 2018 bodybuilding.com spokesmodel search. If you haven't seen my Instagram or bodybuilding.com's Instagram because um, I own it, you don't know this, but yeah, I won. There's a very cool video of the live stream showing the moment that I won and they they made me give an acceptance speech. They didn't make me. They asked if I wanted to say a few words, and I did, and I completely blacked out, and just words started coming out. Uh, they, they sort of made sense, though, so I'm going to leave that down below, or maybe I'll play it right here. Your female 2018 bodybuilding.com spokesmodel is Meg Squats Megan Gallagher. I would like to welcome our CEO, the one and only Jazz Pindala, up to the stage. He has a small check for you, okay? Just, uh, you can cash it at any local bank. If it fits in the back of your truck. <laughs> Would you like to say a couple words? I tried to do a speech uh, with all of us uh, earlier and I completely failed, so hopefully that doesn't happen again. Kaylin had to take over, thank you. Um, I entered this contest to try and make a difference in the fitness space and I think we are seeing women start to speak up and they're starting to say things like me too and they're starting to look for people who look like them who they can look up to so i'm really hopeful in helping to share those stories and i hope uh, and i think it's going to happen because we're seeing this i'm really excited to help facilitate those hard conversations and really figure out what it means to be feminine in this world where we are told to be small and where we're told that maybe we don't belong in the gym and all these people here are doing great things in making a space for women in fitness and making a space for women in the world and i'm just so excited um so <laughs> thank you <laughs> thank you so much this will be about my experience in Boise and really what I plan to do with this opportunity and what I'm looking forward to with this. Um, I think the question that I've had in person with people is like, what's next? What, so what does this mean? Like, what's gonna happen? So I'm gonna clear those questions up for any of you who have been wondering, because I'm really excited. I do not, uh, it would be a tragedy if I were to just win this and then not take advantage of all the things that I have with this new partnership so I'm gonna go over what we're looking forward to and yeah I'll just give you an idea of what it's like and maybe some um, perspective on like what happened and why maybe I think I won if you didn't already know the bodybuilding.com spokesmodel search is something that they've done every year for the past few years ever since I've been in fitness they've been doing this bodybuilding.com spokesmodel search before I never considered it because it was for bodybuilders um, it was totally for something for bikini competitors figure competitors bodybuilders um, not me not to say that I haven't done a bikini show in my day you know what I'm saying but yeah it just wasn't something that I th ever had opened up my mind to in the past until um, I was this year and they opened up the they opened up the entry forms, and so what you do is you submit a video under four minutes, I think it's under four or five minutes, um, explaining why you want to be the next bodybuilding.com spokesmodel. And so I said, um, I consulted with a ton of people, um, my business partners, I consulted with my family, and you know the people closest to me, and kind of the response was like, what do you have to lose? Um, it could be really fun, you never know what could happen. So I just did it. I made a video explaining what I wanted to do, why I wanted to do it, and I will link that down below so that you guys can check it out so that you kind of understand my platform. I don't need to talk too much about my platform because you can I say it perfectly there. Um, check out the video if you want to see like my platform because I approached the competition as a, an opportunity to make big change. This, uh, I'll be completely honest, um, I think people have even said this, like, you have your own platform, why don't, uh, why do you feel the need to even do this? Um, I didn't 
look at this competition and i think people get this wrong i didn't look at this competition as an opportunity for just me I, obviously i benefit massively from this there's no denying that but when i entered i thought hey i have this message um sure people can hear it but the people who can hear it are the people who already know the message right are you guys you guys who are watching this um the people who are already have my back like i'm preaching to the choir then right so I thought, why not connect and try to partner with this huge company that has massive influence, way a bit far bigger than mine, and why don't I try to reach those people to kind of provide this different perspective? And so that was really my goal, right? I, I truly, I feel like my calling is to just get more barbells in the hands of women. If you meet me in person, I will like tell that to you. That's usually like what I, that's my opener, right? That's my opener and closer. Um, so that is just something that I like live and die by. And that is truly the reason for me entering the contest. It was really just an opportunity to share this message and partner with a company that can empower that message. Now, I do get some cool stuff. I get 10 grand. Not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet, but I also get on the cover of Train Magazine. I'm exceptionally excited to be on the cover of Train Magazine because that's just something that I never would have dreamed of, to be quite honest. I'm gonna be on the cover of a magazine. It's gonna be crazy. Maybe some people were wanting this, but I'll be continuing to bulk into that cover shoot. So hopefully my bulk will continue to extend and I'll be able to gain slowly throughout. But yeah, I'm still not at like my goal weight. I would love to be like 152 pounds when I'm on the cover of Train Magazine. 5'3", 152 pound <sighs> cover model. Am I right? The week of the entire like interview or tryout, it's more like a tryout, I guess. So it was, five days, uh, Monday through Friday, we were there every day, and um, we did, first day, one of the coolest parts, I will say, was getting to um, listen to a customer service call. Um, my customer service calls were somewhat unique, I think, but it, it's just cool that people would call in and say, thank you so much, you, like, you've helped me lose 40 pounds, um, you've helped me like change my life, and to have someone call and tell you that is really dope. I think I'm gonna start reconsidering my at least coaching customer service so I can have a better connection. Maybe it's not me answering the calls myself, but making sure that someone capable of answering like easy questions is there. It's just really cool to see, experience that and see um, that end of the customer experience and understand their values as a company. After that, we did, um, I was the first one to go. I think Monday I did my Facebook live shoot. So I took everyone through a um, workout. So I hope you guys got to catch that. I will link the um, Facebook live link so that you guys can check it out. It's awesome. It's like the, the coolest thing to see how high quality production the team that they have at bodybuilding.com is working with. It's, everyone's so cool, which makes it easy. They're really welcoming. I've been on sets where it's just like weird. People make you feel, not that people intend to make you feel uncomfortable, but people like aren't as welcoming and warm and like encouraging of your work. Um, but the team there is just like, yeah, you're killing it, you know? And maybe they were lying to me a little bit, but they're just really supportive and an easy, easy crew to work with. So first day I got to do my Facebook Live and you guys will see and you will question like, there's no way that this was live. It was live. It looks better than any YouTube video you've ever seen in your life. Um, so that experience was really cool. Um, just cool to like get that out of the way for me. I got to do it on the first day and I was like, done. Next day is we had photo shoots for two days in a row. Um, got to do a podcast interview. Got to do video profile videos. So soon you'll see like, I'm Meg, I'm your winner of Bodyline.com. You know, you'll get to see a cool, nice, high quality video of that. And then the last day, the last day we had an interview with everyone who is anyone at Bodyline.com. So um, we're in like a board boardroom style interview and they um, not grilled us with questions, but they asked us a few uh, kind of difficult questions to answer. And um, it was like all of us and all who's who at bodybuilding.com. It's cool just to be in the room of the CEO of bodybuilding.com and getting to share my message and getting to share my mission with him and the rest of the team. Friday, after the interviews, it was kind of like my stomach dropped. I was like, okay, now we can, it's, the work is done. Hope they like me. Um, then we got to finally go um, to the Christmas party. They were nice enough to invite us 
party crashers to their holiday party there they did another live stream of the winners so you guys can check out like my acceptance speech which honestly I blacked out I didn't know what I was saying I was like drinking wine to subside whatever nervous feelings I had not that I had that much but it's like me and two wines is like whoa I said a few words to accept my huge check and yeah that's pretty much the experience that I had um, it was really dope everyone that was there was really cool all the other finalists very just nice people warm people who all have their own message and all have their own like goals within fitness and are just killing it I'm really excited to see what the rest of them do it's cool to be in a room with nine other people who are all doing just cool shit if I can say it frankly and doing what they can to make their way in this fitness fitness space <laughs> in the fitness space and also doing what they can to share their very important messages so i love y'all if you happen to watch this and thanks for just making the week so easy and just chill and yeah just made it fun right it would have been really boring if i was just there by myself um or if any of us were just there by ourselves, or if we were there with shitty people luckily no shitty people it was a good time Okay, um, I hope this video isn't too long, um, but yeah, maybe some people are wondering what I plan to do with the Spokesmile search. Um, know that when I was there, um, I think maybe this had to do with some of my success in winning. I came with a few project ideas that I had in mind that I have been working on and developing for months. Um, when I was in New York, I started working on a I started working on a project that I wanted to pitch for someone to fund so that I had um, the money to create it because just quite frankly, I don't have the money to create something like this and I don't have a production team um, organized so that I can make something uh, in at this level that I want to make. So yeah, I'm really interested in working with their entire crew and production team. I'm so thrilled that. All of them are excited too to work with me and I think you guys are gonna see some cool projects with me and them uh, very very soon so um, and now it's gonna take us a while to record some stuff but um, yeah I just have big dreamy projects that will really speak to um, what I bring to the table and also speak to whatever diversity or whatever if you feel like maybe there's not someone who looks like you on bodybuilding.com or bodybuilding.com is not yet speaking to you i think the project that we are going to work partner with together is really going to fill that and really going to show you that there are athletes that come in all shapes and sizes and identities and um that is like a huge thing a huge thing that we are going to work on together and i'm so excited to be bringing in just awesome people to help bring different perspectives um, to that project and it's gonna be really dope and I'm gonna share with you guys it's gonna be cool but we're at the very beginning of stages and I can't really talk about it much but it's gonna be dope okay that is my experience again I'm sure some of you guys have some questions about anything specific that I didn't cover I tried to like give you a general overview of what it was like but if you have any specific questions be sure to leave them in the comments below and I will get to them in Thursday's video okay we did it guys we did it you won't regret it you won't regret voting for me thanks to everyone who voted for me I truly truly appreciate it without you guys I wouldn't have gotten there right um, without people encouraging me and letting me know like yeah we want to hear about strength yeah this is important yeah we need to hear this um, or or just encouraging me like yeah other people need to hear about this too um, I wouldn't be here with you right now uh, so yeah, thank you guys so much. Love you. I'll see you in the next one. I'll see you Thursday. Bye.